This Cisco security analytics and logging video describes configuring a Firepower threat defense device to send events through an on-premises secure event connector to the CDO event viewer. Cisco Security Analytics and Logging, or SAL, allows you to send connection, intrusion, file, malware, and security intelligence events from any of your Firepower Threat Defense devices to the Cisco Cloud and view them in the Event Logging page in Cisco Defense Orchestrator. From the Event Logging page in CDO, you can review those events to gain a clear understanding of what security rules are being triggered in your network. This level of SAL functionality is provided with the basic logging and troubleshooting license. With the logging analytics and detection license, you can cross-launch your StealthWatch Cloud portal from CDO, where it can apply dynamic entity modeling to your FTD events and use behavioral modeling analytics to generate StealthWatch Cloud observations and alerts in addition to the logging and troubleshooting functionality. With the Total Network Analytics and Monitoring License, StealthWatch Cloud applies dynamic entity modeling to both your FTD events and your network traffic and generates observations and alerts. This license also provides all the functionality of the other two SAL licenses. Create a syslog server object for your secure event connector. Later you're going to be configuring rules to send events to the SEC as if it were a syslog server. The SEC would then forward those events to the Cisco cloud. In this step, you're going to create a syslog server object with the IP address, TCP port, or UDP port of the SEC you want to send the events to. If you have more than one SEC in your network, you would create one syslog object for every SEC, but you would only send events from one rule to one syslog object representing one SEC. To create the syslog server object, you're going to need some information about your SEC. To find it, go to the user menu, select Secure Connectors, select the SEC, and here in the details pane, you'll find information like IP address, TCP port, and UDP port. Here's how to create the syslog object for your SEC. Go to the objects page, click the plus button, select syslog server, enter the IP address of the SEC, select the protocol for sending events, the port number, and either a data interface or the management interface, whichever one is configured to reach the secure event connector. In this case, I'm going to select the outside interface. Events are generated when rules in the FTD policy are matched by network traffic. Events are logged when logging is enabled, either at the rule level or at the device level. Connection events are generated from different aspects of access control rules, security intelligence rules, and SSL decryption rules. In addition to connection events, you can log file and malware events as well as events generated from intrusion policies. Here's how you configure logging for connection events. Select the device you want to configure event logging for and select policy in the management pane. Select the rule you want to log. This rule allows traffic from the guest network to reach the outside zone. Click edit click Logging, select the log action, and send the events, send the connection events to the syslog server object that represents the SEC. To log connection events for security intelligence policies for your device, Go to the policy page for that device, click Security Intelligence, click Logging Settings, and send the connections to the syslog server that represents the secure event connector. To log connection events for SSL decryption policies, 
Go to the policy page for your device, select SSL decryption, select the rule you want to log, click edit, click logging, select the log action, and select the syslog server object that represents the secure event connector. You can also log connection events for the default action of your policy. To do so, go to the policy page for your device, click the default action button, click logging, choose the log action, and again send the connection events to the syslog server object that represents the secure event connector. Now we're going to talk about logging intrusion events and file and malware events. I have a rule here in my policy allowing inside zone traffic to the outside zone. I have an intrusion policy for connectivity over security. And I have a file policy that's blocking all malware. Now that I have this intrusion policy turned on to log uh, events that come from that policy. This is done at the device level. I go to devices and services. I go to my device. I go to settings. Click logging. Here in intrusion prevention, in, in the intrusion logging area, I need to name a syslog server that the events go to. Like before, I'm going to choose the syslog server we selected earlier, we created earlier that represents the secure event connector and save it. For this same policy, I have file events. I may have file events that I want to log. Here's my rule. Again, we have our file policy. To log file policy events, I go to edit. Here's my file policy. You can see there's block malware all. I go to logging and I click log file events. And I save. And then the next thing I have to do is turn this on for the device. So I go back to devices and services. I go back to my FTD. I go to settings, I click logging, I turn on file and malware logging, I select a syslog server, like before I select the syslog server that represents the secure event connector, and I select a severity level, and I save my changes. With file and malware detection, there are also connection events. Those connection events are logged at the rule level. So I'm going to go back to my policy for the device. I am going to go to my rule, back to edit, go to logging, and now I'm going to log the connection events for file and malware events. I'm going to log them at the end of the connection. And again, I'm going to send them to uh, the syslog server that represents the secure event connector and save my changes. Finally, when all this is done, I need to deploy the changes. I've made changes to rules and to policies and to devices. So I go up here and I look for devices with pending changes. Here's my device. Here are all my rule changes, and I deploy the changes.